So you're planning to buy a house or maybe to sell one, but now that the COVID-19 pandemic has hit, you don't know what to expect. Join the club. The whole world is facing an unpredictable situation and it has sent the housing market into a tailspin. For the time being, the best way to think of the housing market is on hold. If you were in the middle of buying or selling a house when the lockdown came, you can continue. In most parts of Canada, real estate has been declared an essential service, precisely so that people aren't left hanging in the middle of a home sale or purchase. But other activity is shutting down. The Ontario Real Estate Association has asked agents to stop all face-to-face -face activity, including viewings and open houses. If you want to buy a house today, be prepared to make a purchase sight unseen. Canada's housing markets were actually overheating when the shutdowns came. Greater Vancouver's recently hot market saw a 30% drop in daily sales by the end of March, while in mid-March, Toronto home sales dropped 40% in the space of a week. Toronto was even declared a buyer's market by real estate portal Zucasa. There will be hard times ahead in the housing market. Royal Bank of Canada predicts home sales will slow to a trickle. In the short term, house prices will fall. All the newly unemployed people means some households will be in a hurry to sell at a time when few people are buying. This could mean lower selling prices. Royal Bank says the hardest hit housing markets will be in the prairies. The oil price collapse means their economy will be in even rougher shape than other parts of the country. Overall, the bank sees a 70% drop in home sales in June of this year. Assuming things begin to return to normal this summer, we'll likely see a big rebound in the second half of the year. And RBC says next year could see a record surge in home sales. But if you're hoping that everything will simply go back to the way it was, Time for some hard realities. Millions of Canadians have been thrown out of work. Households are draining their savings. Businesses can't make rent. Even if the crisis passed today, it's not like people could afford to rush out to buy houses at last year's high prices. So it might be a good time to remember the real purpose of the place you live in. It's home, a place to keep you safe in times of danger. And that's worth more than the market value of any house.